So in this video, I want to go through another example of integration by parts twice, and we're going to integrate x squared e to the 3x between 1 and 2. So first of all, using the late rule, we're going to choose the x squared to be u, and the dv by dx will be e to the 3x. So du by dx will be 2x, and v will be the integral of e to the 3x, so 1 third e to the 3x. OK, so using the formula here, because we've got limits, it's a definite integral. This is between a and b. Then we need to evaluate u and u times v between a and b, and then integrate between a and b. OK, so with this, we're going to use square brackets, u times v, so 1 third x squared e to the 3x, evaluated between 1 and 2. Take away the integral, evaluated between 1 and 2, of v times du by dx. So 2 thirds x e to the 3x dx. Now this integral, we need to use integration by parts. So u is going to be 2 thirds x, and the dv by dx will be e to the 3x. So du by dx is 2 thirds, and v, the integral of e to the 3x, is 1 third e to the 3x. Now I'm not going to evaluate this square bracket, I'm just going to leave it as it is. Take away, open up a large bracket. Now inside the bracket, we're going to have u times v, so 2 thirds x times 1 third e to the 3x, so 2 ninths x e to the 3x, evaluated between 1 and 2. Take away the integral between 1 and 2 of v times du by dx, so 2 ninths e to the 3x dx. Close the bracket. Now let's deal with the bracket first. We've got 1 third x squared e to the 3x, evaluated between 1 and 2. Take away 2 ninths x e to the 3x, evaluated between 1 and 2. Then plus the integral, so take away a minus, plus the integral between 1 and 2 of 2 ninths e to the 3x dx. So I'll keep these bits the same. And then this integrates to 2 over 27 e to the 3x, evaluated between 1 and 2. Now you could evaluate each of these separately, but I would strongly recommend not to do that. I'm going to bring them all into a single square bracket, which you can do because the limits of each one are the same. So we'll have 1 third x squared e to the 3x, take away 2 ninths x e to the 3x, plus 2 over 27 e to the 3x, evaluated between 1 and 2. So substituting in the 2, we'll get 4 thirds e to the 6, take away 4 ninths e to the 6, plus 2 over 27 e to the 6. Then substituting in x is 1, we'll get 1 third e to the 3, take away 2 ninths e to the 3, plus 2 over 27 e to the 3. Okay, so 4 thirds take away 4 ninths plus 2 over 27. So 26 over 27 e to the 6. We've got 1 third take away 2 ninths plus 2 over 27. So take away 5 over 27 e to the 3. Now you could factorise that if you wanted to. You could write that as 
uh, 1 over 27 e to the 3 times by 26 e to the 3 take away 5. So you could write it like that if you wanted to. It depends if the question specifically asks it to be written in a, uh, a particular form.